It is 613 and on a daily basis, most of us, we get caught up. We get busy trying to balance work and family life. And one of the things coming into the new year, we're all talking about taking care of our physical health. But what about mental health? That's just as important. Norbrook Slayer is live in Carbondale this morning at a new clinic that's offering unique treatments for depression and PTSD. So, Brooke, what more can you tell us? Yeah, good morning, Dave. You know, we are talking about the two treatments that are being offered here at the Albany Clinic, and we already talked about the ketamine drip, you know, in our last segment. So in this segment, we're going to talk about the Stellite Ganglion Block. I believe I got that correct this time. Okay, Woo, I was nervous about getting that right. But again, joining me this morning is Dr. Mark Garwin, who's the founder of this clinic. So I could barely get the name <laughs> of the treatment out. Go ahead and fill viewers in on what it is. The uh, stellate ganglion is a cluster of nerves in the neck, and the block itself is done with a needle and a local anesthetic that numbs those nerves. Those nerves are part of the sympathetic nervous system that is responsible for the fight or flight that is initiated by a threat. These have been done for over 100 years, mostly for arm pain, but about 12 years ago, a physician at a pain clinic in Chicago was treating a patient for arm pain, which is what stellate ganglion blocks can also do. And the patient's PTSD disappeared. So he published that as a report. And for the last 10 years, uh, there's been extensive investigation into stellate ganglion blocks. So. The way it works is there is an excitatory center in your head called the amygdala. It is uh, responsible for that kind of threat perception and response, and it runs all the time, kind of like a car at idle. So when you hear a bang and you turn your head, that's a reflex response, and it's moderated by a higher center in your head, the prefrontal cortex, that processes the same information and tells you either it is a threat or it's some person who dropped a can of tomatoes. So in the field for soldiers, the amygdala runs hot and there are functional MRIs that demonstrate that the MRI runs at a high level of activity and the prefrontal cortex is suppressed. And that works well in the field in combat because it keeps people alive. But it is uh, inappropriate in a civilian setting where everything is a threat or perceived to be a threat when it is not. So people coming back from combat, um, they have a lower threshold for response and the stellate ganglion block reduces sympathetic inflow into the head and it resets the amygdala. Well, I know you've gotten uh, great responses from some of the veterans that you have treated here. So coming up a little later on in the show, we're going to talk to, you know, viewers at home and those veterans who might be ex experiencing PTSD or that uh, depression, that type of depression that you were talking about, you know, how they can get the information to, you know, get some of the treatment here and get a consultation. So that'll be a little bit later on in the show. But for now, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you. 